Hello guys, so it is like almost, oh, well almost 12 o'clock, it's like 11.30. So y'all can eat with me if y'all want to watch me or whatever. So what I'm having, I've, I've sort of already been eating on this cause like, I don't know. But I've got mashed potatoes, I made this last night. And then some of this um, chicken alfredo, which is really good. All you gotta do is get the alfredo sauce and the noodles. And then I put like the five cheese parmesan and then like I put like um, a little bit of salt and pepper over on top of the cheese and some celery seed and what, what was the other? Dill pickle weed or something? Dill weed? Dill weed, yeah. God help me. And I'm drinking this around here so that's what we're doing. Anyways, <clears throat> so Johnny just went to work and I totally already miss him. I watched a video, or not a video, but I watched a movie that had Brad Pitt in it. And um, it was like two hours long, okay? I can't remember the name of it. But anyways, at the end, I was like, really? It ended that way. I hate when movies end ignorant. What are you doing, Roxy? Hmm? She's scratching her feet or her back on the end of this chair. These are really good, by the way. But <clears throat> we had a good weekend this weekend. Johnny had a singing to go to and they did really awesome. And um, we went to church Hung out at the house. Oh my God. When he leaves out, I miss him. Like, no sooner than he leaves out the door, I miss him. I swear, I have the best husband ever. God has really blessed me with that. Like, seriously. Sometimes it's like, do I need to pinch myself and see if this is real or what, you know? Like, <clears throat> I guess this is going to be one of those ooey gooey videos, right? Lord help me. But, um, you can tell when someone loves you by just how they are around you and like, I've never had anybody just by their touch, like whether it's just like hugging me or putting their hand on my face or my shoulder, and you can feel the love like clearly. And I'm like, wow, this is this is amazing. And <clears throat> it's just good to have somebody like that. Like, like whenever you find true love, guys, I'm telling you, hang on to it because I'm gonna tell you, it's hard to find that. And like, whenever. There's true love there. Like you can tell both both people go they're all in all, you know what I mean? It's amazing. It really is. And to have somebody to actually care for your feelings, yes. It's amazing. You know things are going good, like within your life, whenever you can eat and not be sick. <clears throat> because whenever I was going through all that crap and moving and stuff, and like me and Johnny were together, but like we were seeing each other like on the weekends and it was like, i would either come here, he'll come there and it was just like, you know, it was like uneasy because you're not with them the whole time but now that once you get settled in and stuff it's like yes everything's good everything's like you know the, like how it's supposed to be and God is just really awesome he really is never in my life 
did I ever think that I could find somebody that would love me for me and go their whole entire, like, when I love somebody, I love somebody with my whole heart. Like, whether it's a friend or anything, like, I give them my all. And even <clears throat> before, even when I got crapped on and done crappy in the past, I still, and I held on. But, you know, lo love is worth fighting for, but, but whenever you're in a situation to where it's bad, mm -mm. one day I'll go into con um, detail on maybe some stuff, but I'm thinking about doing a bit like a, writing a book one day. But some things I just don't talk about on here. Because, you know, you know, you get your crap on YouTube and then there you go. People likes to run that mouth and stuff. But, um, whenever you, you know, find somebody that, that loves you just as much as you love them and they, they put themselves aside for you and like, you know, your feelings as well, just as me, it's like, wow. Sometimes I'm, <clears throat> like yesterday, whenever before we were going to sing, I was like, you know, this, this is like the, the best feeling I've ever had in my life. It's like, wow. Well. So, if you have true love, hang on to it. Because I'm gonna tell you, out there in this world, there's people out there that pretend that they're one way and then when you get with them, it, it's all hell. It, it, it literally is. And uh, nobody deserves to be unhappy in life. Nobody. And I've done it for years. I was unhappy for years. I lived in a prison. Um, things went on that I should have never allowed. But me being a mom and trying to you know, hang on to a family that wasn't ever meant to, like, you know, the only bet, good thing that came out of my last marriage was my kids. I would do it all over again for my kids, like, give birth to my kids all the way over. But my marriage was done a long time ago. And looking back now, I wished I had gotten out sooner. But if I did, I probably would have never have met Johnny. But, I mean, really and truly, I would have because God God knows who to put in your life, you know. But everything happened the way it meant to be. But never again would I ever allow any of that crap to go on. Because us as parents, we try to look out for our kids and, like, you want to keep your home together for your kids. But if you're doing it for that reason and your, your partner's making you miserable... And things that's that's been you know went on and stuff and you're just staying in it for your kids it's not fair and uh, I'm telling you I've learned so much through that crap if you're in a relationship like that you'll be like me whenever that straw breaks you're done and you'll know it And people were like, to me, like, wow, everything looked so perfect and happy. It wasn't. Mm -mm. But then, when you really find true love, like real 100% true love, this is what I was thinking about yesterday. Everything that once hurt you in the past just goes away. And that person feels everything that, that was missing within yourself and your life. To me... Johnny makes me complete. Like, when I'm with him and we're together, I'm complete. Like, he's just, he's it. You know what I mean? And, um, uh, <clears throat> sometimes I'm just like, is this real, guys? How can this be real? Am I dreaming? But it is real. And I'm like, God, I thank you for this. I, I really thank you for putting us in each other's life and we can be happy and live a happy life and serve God together and, and raise my kids because Johnny's a stepfather, but he, he's amazing to my kids, like literally. He does so good with them. And another thing, I'm blessed to have that because some stepkids, I've heard stuff before, and it's not too good. But Johnny would do anything for my kids, and I don't know, I'm just, I've been having a weekend, and a, like last week and this week, starting off, like, I'm really blessed. Even though 
through all the hell that I've went through in the past, if it meant for me to have to go through all that hell to be able to get to where I'm at today, I'm thankful for it because, you know, what I have now, I wouldn't trade for anything. And um, if y'all have a love like that, hang on to it, cherish it, guard it with everything that you have, protect it. And the, and, and the number one thing is to put Jesus in it. Because if you put God number one in your life and your marriage and everything, everything will be good. But, I'm looking so forward to what God has in store for us. Like, it's going to be awesome. And, oh my God, he has a beautiful voice, guys. Y'all already know that. And get this. He sung to me last night, like, before he went to bed. I had stayed up playing card like that solitary card game on my um, tri peak something or another, and he sung to me. Oh my God! Several like religious songs, and I'm like, Oh my God! This is awesome. Having a man that sings wonderful and sings to you, that's just amazing. I've always like y'all know that I like to sing. He likes to sing. We're just perfect together, guys. I'm telling you, I love it. I love it. Anyways. I'm sorry about the ooey gooey goodness, but girls and guys, it's it's amazing, and I I thank God every day for it because I love it, and I love how everything within my life is just working out now. Love it. Y'all don't give up hope. If you're going through anything, it'll get easier. I promise. Hang on to Jesus, and God will lead you in the path that you need to be on. So, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.